Hello everyone and welcome back to Technically Unsure, where I'm not really sure what I'm doing technically. But what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? So today I'm going to take a look at a small computer. The company sent it to me free of charge, full disclosure. As usual, I am going to review it and showcase the product to you guys. If something doesn't work, it doesn't work. If something works, works. We'll do some benchmarks and check everything out. I believe one of the biggest selling points of this product is the price and the other one is its stylish look so let me show you what I'm talking about this is the product that I received from Chewy it's not the pet food product company and it is Larkbox X mini PC comes with Windows preloaded but you can obviously install Linux which we are going to test it comes with Intel N100 CPU which is 0.8 gigahertz I guess if you want to basically you know use lower power and 3.4 gigahertz is boost clock N100 is four core four threads and the GPU is the Intel UHD built-in for that Intel 100 processor it comes with Wi-Fi 6 so there are different versions as you can see in here so there is a 8 gigabyte 12 gigabyte 16 gigabyte and 32 gigabyte RAM which they shipped to me the 12 gigabyte version and the storage 128 256 512 seems like they ship 512 which is unnecessary but I'm going to probably replace it with something that I have if it is a NVMe SSD we'll see maybe it's uh, built in okay so yeah this is what i was talking about wow that's so light okay that's very very light honestly i was expecting it to be a lot heavier you see that's what i'm talking about it's stylish do you agree everything they have over here the intel inside sticker two usb three ports usb c port power button and the headphone jack and on the back we have more usb three ports hdmi and the display port 2 gigabit ethernet and the power connection and there's a reset button over here pinhole okay so that's probably the mount let me take this out let me see if that is included in the box okay so first of all <laughs> i gotta say this generic box is actually i use these things you know you can store things in them and uh, it is very solid so i like the boxes when they are like this and uh, let's see the power maybe i can also reuse the power for other stuff oh yeah that's what i was talking about so this is the mounting bracket i'm I'm not gonna do it but i just want to show you basically this goes over there so you can mount it like this behind the monitor or things like that so take this out yep it's this way you go like that and you put these screws and you can mount it behind the monitor or i'm gonna be honest this is so stylish and looking neat and nice i would actually show this off i don't think i would hide this but you know you do there is like four screws and i like it that i don't have to remove something to open it i'm gonna open it but not now let's keep going okay so the power is 12 volt 3 amp which is awesome yeah definitely i can use this for other stuff so before going further opening this up and looking inside and all that let me wire this up let's put into the windows that they are shipping it with let's see what the operating system is if they have anything installed in it and then i will also try ubuntu and make sure everything works in there as well i will be right back okay so we are back and i already logged into windows i installed a bunch of software i just want to show you something very quickly this is not a gaming computer but i just have to tell you it is very very quiet it's like some heat coming from the back not much from the top and uh, just to give you some examples i lowered the quality on the tone braider to low and 1920 by 2560 i don't think you can play it but i just want to show you it's not really for gaming obviously i just want to show you there's a little bit capability in there not much it's stuttering very slow for low in 1920 by 2560 you can see the power consumption goes up to like 23 i think that's the highest number i have seen in this computer yeah so that's what you're gonna get okay so very unplayable let's ignore that let me show you a couple of things in terms of the benchmark so this is the 3d mark score not super impressive but for n100 it is what it is that's exactly what it's supposed to be and it shows you that it's not really throttling or anything like that and the other thing i want to show you is the crystal disk benchmark this is the disk that they shipped it with 
when you buy they didn't send me anything special right this is just what you can buy from their website or from amazon this is what you're gonna get jet being said let's go into the bias a few moments later okay so we are in the bias as you can see that's 12 gigabyte ram 4000 speed mt per second and lark box x chewy so i'm gonna be honest considering the name that i didn't really know about much about chewy it is impressive i was able to boot into the windows everything was working speed is very good the looks very well built and stylish heat efficient i think it's getting dissipated from the back performance is great so not much in the bias this is what they have done as you can see there is absolutely nothing that you can do here that's the boot options and that's the save and exit and security yeah now let me boot into ubuntu let's see if it works i will be right back okay so we are booted into ubuntu and as you can see it is like 7.8 let's call it 8 watts idle okay and i am in ubuntu 22 and if i do a neo fetch you will see that n100 and everything is detected now if i want to do a stress ng as you can see, it goes up to 21, 22 watts. When we were in Windows, when I was playing a game which didn't really work in low settings, it was like 23 watts. So 20 to 23 watts is the cap, I'm gonna say. It doesn't go above that. Performance is exactly what you would expect from an N100. So 20,000 you get in the Stress NG. It's just for comparison, the Raspberry Pi 5, you will get something like uh, 876 900 in this matrix prod test okay so another thing i didn't test in windows because i see you guys telling me iperf3 you shouldn't really use the windows version you shouldn't do it in windows it's fine i understand i sometimes do but let's try it in linux it's a powerful machine obviously it will definitely deliver what it is promising and the other final thing i just want to test is the hd parm okay so let me see first of all what do i have in discs i didn't actually check okay so that's nvme okay so if we do one okay so yeah when it's idle or when you're doing this read and write it goes up to 12 and idle is 7 8 okay it's a little bit slow but it could be from the nvme ssd that they shipped it with but it's still acceptable that being said everything that this machine promised basically for 180 bucks it just delivered right so power consumption is very fair for n100 7 watts idle ish windows works linux works you know cpu benchmarks are not getting throttled it's extremely quiet you will not absolutely hear anything i'm sure there is a fan because i see heat getting dissipated and we're gonna open it up but yeah no complaints everything is working as expected yeah let's turn it off okay and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys inside this bad boy okay so far so good that's a nvme ssd with no heatsink that's just one point but this is ud store brand i don't think i ever heard of them so yeah this points to front when you're assembling it back you gotta remember so let me keep going further down all right so here we go so you have to remove that four screw that is in these corners it was a little bit tricky the iFixit one didn't really go through because of this here so i use this doesn't matter so here is the cooler so this looks like the laptop cooler i guess and the battery is over there the cpu n100 is underneath this in here we have the board and this is the antenna so yeah it is attached to this let me take this out let's go further down all right so here we are the wi-fi module is underneath this nvme ssd which i am going to remove as well there you go so here is the wi-fi module there is not much in the back of the board and on the front we just have this fan and the battery so relatively straightforward nothing special i see on it where is the bias chip i'm looking if i can spot it here some wind bond okay so this could be it yeah it's a wind bond i'm gonna say 99 percent that's the bias chip so yeah there is nothing even remotely resembling 
by us on the side. Yeah, so that's the inside. I told you it's very lightweight, very, very powerful. It just delivered what it promised. So I am going to put this all back together like this like so and uh, yeah let me put this back together anyway i think it's time for ending this video i hope it's not really that long i just don't have anything negative to say about it it just delivered what it said for 180 bucks i think it's a very fair price i tried doing flash rom in ubuntu i forgot to show you guys on the video but yeah it didn't work so just so you know if you want to do dumping of a bias you have to do it here otherwise everything is working perfectly no complaints yeah please let me know if you have any questions down below thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye for now